Yo guys, I've got a spark which I'm going to use to ignite the fire for a brand new Scarless vlogging video here on the channel. Well, I say it's brand new, it's more so an older video of mine, the second episode within this series even, because I've gone back and rebranded it all. Now, Scarless hunting videos were pretty crappy because... For the first few of them, some idiot, aka this guy, decided it was a good idea to record in this here portrait mode. Luckily for me, however, from this moment onwards, I filmed in landscape mode. So this is where the hunting series really kicked off and really started to get good. But unfortunately, it was also where Skarnas was so long into its runtime that it was very brilliant for me to find Skarnas out of store. So the hunting part of the series became less and less to where it was more so blog orientated in everything, including this here video, because the title does not lie, it's practically everything but Scarlet Sunton. There is about 20 seconds within this hour plus video that is dedicated to Scarlet Sunton. So yeah, it's near enough literally everything but Scarlet Sunton. So enough of me repeating this here title, I'm re reincorporating this intro into the second episode of this series here to not only acknowledge the new um rebranding of the series but also to acknowledge the fact that all of the episodes of Scarlet Sunton before this one were all archived on my secondary channel ITF archives which you can find in the description below except for one one of them I've kept around as the brand new first episode of Scarlet Vlogging and that's big trouble in Little Lester not only because the name is awesome because it's a reference to a film that I really like you can see it right there thanks to the power of editing but regardless of all that uh, what's also very important about an episode is that it sets into motion a lot of things that are going to be paid off in later episodes. Like, I'm always harkening back to what happened in that episode in terms of callbacks and everything. So, yes, that's a very important episode moving forward. So, that I kept as the first episode of Scarlet Vlogging. And now, what you'll bear witness in here is a re upload of the secondary episode of Scarlet Vlogging with, again, a title that does not lie. This is the only episode of Scarlet Vlogging that I'm going to re edit and re upload. However, there are four other episodes that I need to re-edit and re-upload so they will be taking place on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday and then on Sunday I'm going to be concluding this whole thing with a brand new never before seen Scandalous Logan episode. So yeah it's Basically, for a plan of attack, a bunch of re-edited Scarlet's vlogging uh, videos, which are all falling under the brand new branding of the series, since this is vlogging that just so happens to be Scarlet's related, hence Scarlet's vlogging. So without further ado, let us get engaged with today's Scarlet theme vlog. Literally everything, but Scarlet's hunting, almost. <laughs> Was the eyebrows really necessary? Yes. Is the hand really necessary? No. So let's get that uh, out of the way. But regardless, as you guys can see, I'm currently in my Mario Odyssey cap. And I am uh, very hyped for Luke coming here anytime soon, especially when he's going to see me in this. Once he knocks on the door and asks for me to let him in, mind you. Regardless, you guys no doubt uh, heard this in the background. You can't have a Mario Odyssey cap on and not be playing Mario Odyssey. So I'm just going to play this whilst I'm uh, waiting for Luke Ryan you. So not only are we going to be uh, recording some hunting, uh, recording this very hunting video for you guys, but I'm also going to be recording some Mario Sports Mix and some Versus episodes for you guys to look forward to. So stick around, one would say, but regardless, I'll be seeing you guys in the next clip. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, it's actually working now. Never mind. <laughs> wait, why was I down there? You're too tall for this, dude. He has a new tripod thing that's awesome, but you stumbled in on me at the most awkward time because I was kind of in the middle of eating a yogurt at the time. <laughs> Remember, what was more important than Luke eating yogurt? So I'm going to get back to that yogurt and forget that he's here. Shoo, shoo! <laughs> Don't worry, guys, I'm just joking. You should put your friends first always. <laughs> I know, I just watched a video this morning of this cute little girl right yeah, here. I'm hoping that. You know what, it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm not surprised he's even up. I'm just watching the videos you, you are uploading now. Oh yeah, of course, because my videos are awesome. <laughs> Hashtag self promotion match. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do you too. I think she wants food, so I should probably uh, get that sorted, no doubt. Uh, so yeah, it is the next day, guys, in case you couldn't gather so already. Let's uh, be light. Somehow I pressed the uh, 
wrong one on the light switch right there because for left one controls for stairs and the other one controls the indoors living room how i messed it up i don't even know it's my own house but still i messed it up all the same but i've already come in and feed this little devil but she's a very annoying cat and the fact that we put her food out and then she has a little bit of a nibble and then doesn't finish it you annoying pain in my ass you but no, Luke is watching uh, one of my videos, as I was saying before, and uh, basically, Diddy Kong just lost him a point, so what do you say to that? Awesome. He didn't say awesome, he said stupid monkey, and I'm like, don't you dare blame the monkey. <laughs> no one ever blames the monkey. That's a little scarlet spot falls away from stair, of course. You're still too tall, your head is completely out of frame. <laughs> okay, that's better. So, Luke has my switch right there, what's your only flaw with the switch? kick the on the back it's too flimsy and i'm barely down here <laughs> yeah but you know a system is bloody brilliant when the biggest thought of it is literally a clicking noise that's true this is not that great <laughs> anyways i've got a uh, work to go to so we're gonna do a fun little skit about this if i don't drop my phone that is <laughs> so yeah bye bye luke enjoy yourself without me don't worry i will <laughs> Guys, prepare to see the wild Luke in his natural habitat. Waha! Oh, he's around there. <laughs> Here he is, Hi. that so-called wild Luke from before, who's playing that monstrosity. We're going to pretend that that just doesn't exist, okay? Regardless, I'm back for my work shift. Hallelujah, so we're probably just going to do some more gaming before waiting for our main event of tomorrow. Also, we have the taste test. And that as well, of course. What the heck? I see you're stroking your head right now. You'll stroke it even more with this thing on. Okay, fine. I'll just capture you instead. You've been captured. Get the pun. <laughs> He's still playing that lame game. And how dare you throw down Cappy like that? You, you will wear this. I was tempted to throw it across the room. So. Don't throw it across the room either. <laughs> I totally caught it, guys. You see that? I caught it the whole time. Don't worry, guys, I will get a picture of this guy wearing this damn cap, and I will put it right there for you. Okay, guys, so Luke is currently playing uh, Mario Sports Mix, as you can see, and he's going to be doing that. Uh, nice job getting him out, by the way, but regardless, he's doing that whilst I'm going to look through what he was doing um, whilst I was at work. I bet you won't be too bo uh, entertaining, mind you, because everyone knows that Luke ain't entertaining without me. Just joking. But regardless, I'm going to assume it has something to do with this uh, taste test that we're going to set up in a second right here. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. We have, of course, the Odyssey cap. Oh, I love that. Cap, all right. Okay, Aaron, so uh, I've been playing on the Switch. I've just been um, screwing the messages. I'm sorry for the hiccup. Now I'm going out to get some food. I'm going to leave the way into the day plus I'm going to have a have a time. Okay, dude, so I'm actually getting down to Morrison's. I actually do have a pound left, the so I might spend that tomorrow, but yeah. One pound left, I'm going to head back to yours now for a bit of gaming. And trust me, we have some stuff which I have definitely never had. And um, probably you haven't had as well, so this taste is, is going to be amazing. Okay, Aaron, so... What is that bag? I've got all the cookies. That's the eight of these. You are depressed about me. How are you, dude? I'm playing Fortnite now. And I've got some... Fortnite? Of everything you've been playing, it has been Fortnite! So yeah, I'll see you in a bit, and soon for that I'm doing, so this is basically Oh, that's sad. Well, that was quick. You know what, dude? I think this is more entertaining than the clip you just showed me. I think he was right in the fact that you did sound kind of depressed about me. Yeah, true. But anyways, um, so... For biggest disgrace, in that clip was Fortnite, as you could tell from my reaction, and I'm calling it Fortnite from now on, because Fortnite is a disgrace to a figment of time that is two weeks. After all this, he's finally found his pound. You know, dude, it was right here the whole time. And we all know you haven't ate it, you've already done that trick with the Splatoon 2 cartridge from before. Up there are just some of the many uh, pool trophies that my dad has won throughout his uh, pool career, you could say. And as you can see, we are currently just set up for the taste test, as we was alluding to before. So if you guys want to check out the whole thing, you have to be sure to check out Luke's channel. That and also his channel is awesome. So, Luke, what else can that pool cube be used for? A staff. Of course. <laughs> no 
when you're hitting the ceiling. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit. Go for it, Luke. I can't wait for you to miss this. Told you so. I didn't miss the ball, at least. Anyway, guys, you can see Zap at the top right corner right there because Zap wanted to come along once he heard the word pool. But unfortunately, mate, this is a different kind of pool because you can't exactly swim in it without any sort of water. So, yeah, it's a pool, just not a swimming pool. All for more. I know we said before it could be a staff, but please stop trying to stab me with that thing. Oh, great, now he's turning uh, into a lightsaber. Uh, a lightsaber pike. Oh. What character are you now, then? I don't even know who uses both of those weapons, in, in offense. And I'm supposed to be calling you for Star Wars nerd here. Oh. Luke's created his own little game with this. One thing me and my sister always used to do with pool is we always used to love creating our own games using the uh, pool balls and stuff, just using them in any way we could with our hands, with the cue, with each other. And by with each other, I mean with all of the other balls running into each other, you could say. This is actually fun, actually. <laughs> exactly. Fun, of, uh, fun made of games like this are fun. More fun than the actual game most of the time, actually. But regardless, as for those of you who are winning how, uh, wondering how to win pool every single time, Luke, take notes. This is how you win f uh, pool every single time. First of all, you find a black ball. You place it somewhere really, really, really easy to put it in. And you take it and put it in there. That's how you win pool every single time. And I'm sure Prison Break would back that agreement. Yes, yes, I would. That was totally for your image there, guys, not me. I'm kidding, guys. You could totally tell it was me. My voice acting skills are like they're off. Oh, come on. Still, dude? He still hasn't got him. Ooh. One eternity later. <laughs> Just get him in, dude. <clears throat> oh, my God. You try, then. <laughs> I, I had one hand, okay? I have, more, I have one hand. Just get him in so I can make a SpongeBob joke. <laughs> Luke, you've invented this game and you can't even <laughs> Yay! When it... it just went in. We went a turn to later and it finally oh went God. in. Oh, brilliant. You know what, Luke? I think I prefer my tactic of just picking up the ball and dropping it in. <laughs> making a car noise for an aeroplane that's totally different but regardless uh my dude what is this thing it's a stress toy oh well that's good for when you get stressed hence the name stress toy and all but uh, this is basically the uh, final clip of the day here guys uh i just wanted to uh, end it off with the scanders right here and of course luke with the airplane noises at the back i will admit this much as airplane noises are better than mine and as you can tell, him playing with the aeroplane is better than mine as well. But regardless, I have these characters in specific because in specific, I wanted Zap to make a pool joke and prison break. Shh, you've got to stop that now. This is why I don't record with this guy. I'm joking, of course, but regardless. Uh, and then I got prison break to reference back to my uh, original pool video with him as the themed character. So definitely be sure to check that out. And for eye cards above. How are you doing? I'm sure she's doing fine. So as you can see, it's not the brightest outside, and neither is, nor, neither is it the warmest either. Um, it's because we've reached for winter in the UK, and you can kind of tell because of the winter colours seem a bit more dull because the sun never really brightens up, as I was kind of alluded to before. And of course it gets cold. That's the whole idea behind winter. And of course there's also a monkey tree right there, which is uh, known as my birth tree, considering that... Uh, it was perfect the same day I was born, alongside my parents' cars, which are, of course, awesome. Wow, so basically today, we're going badminton with Edward and Jeeves, and then we're going to look around town and finally put the hunting scar on hunting, you could say. And we also have a pumpkin over there for the last part of the tour, since that's important for the next hunting video, which you should definitely check out, by the way. You know what, dude? I love your coat. Wait, Luke, Luke wanted a photo and I accidentally did a video. That's just the kind of thing I would do. But hey, at least you can see the racket in the background, right? Yeah.
we've got to make ways for leisure centre with the equipment that we need Woo. to do badminton because playing badminton without a badminton racket would be kind of difficult. Well, that's true. Professional YouTuber right here. Woo. Subscribe. It's my college, see? I like this, see? Why do I sound like a uh, scrap shooter, see? I, wait, what are you saying about my college, dude? What were you saying? It's just somewhat similar to mine, but, but ours is sort of more essentially in the main building. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a good thing. Anyway, I sure hope I don't have to go to college considering it's a Saturday, so let's leave this place behind until Off Monday once more. Oh, no. Okay, then, guys, you've heard rants on how late Edward has been. You've heard rants on Flynn for getting his badminton racket for badminton. Well, you would have if I didn't delete the footage, but that doesn't matter right now. And now you're going to hear rants on this idiot for getting his water after I specifically told him to pick it up. What do you have to say for yourself? I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> I'm sure you don't, but you should, because that's what rants are about, talk, saying things. So basically, I'm really mad right now because his wallet had his bus pass in, so now he's going to have to pay for a bus to get back to Ed's afterward. He's convinced he's walking. I'm not making him walk. You know what? It'll probably be that Edward will just pay for buses for us, and I'll pay him back later. I don't care if you don't care. I care, so that's why you're not walking. Oh, I know the way there, so I'm walking. Okay, rant over. Luke is not walking. Do not listen to this fool. We are getting the bus. End of story. Bring the student card. Yes, I brought my student card. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys, I can't believe I'm about to say this, and you guys probably can't believe you're about to hear it, but Edward isn't even here in time. He's, He's early. <laughs> you guys heard me right. He's early. Are you feeling all right? Actually, I've been hearing the, I, I, I've been seeing this, seeing this really, really weird thing in the back of my throat right here. Apart from that, I'm okay. I'm okay. Thought so. But for real. <laughs> With my Wi Fi, yes. Yeah. Wait, someone's zooming in on it. Yeah, it's because this was drawing like some sort of press reveal or whatnot. Oh, that was definitely Captain America. I do. And that's Philippe trailer. No, I think I can't watch this. So <laughs> I reckon, I reckon that oh. someone just, some lad just made this in his like <laughs> basement all just for a joke. <laughs> Maybe we don't know, but there's round of applause at the end, uh, showing that, and it's legit round of applause. You can tell because yeah, well, that's like I said from yeah, some sort of conference or something. So as you can tell, Jeeves is here. We're actually going to get on the course on time this time, which is amazing. Except that Ed is taking a, an age. Yeah. He does. He uh, takes about ten minutes to change alone. But anyway, that was, that was Jeeves' first reaction to the uh, teaser trailer there. Yeah. He didn't like it. <laughs> I was like, it's not fake. We're going to get a, uh, we should get a legit trailer in November, I think. Okay, guys, so here to go. They're playing. It's so hard to film with two phones here. <laughs> I'll get a better shot. I'm filming with a Samsung S6 and a iPhone 5. <laughs> oh, Aaron <Harry> Miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you're wondering why I'm not there, it's basically because I can't see enough to do the shortcut. And yes, it's me, Luke. And yeah, they're still battling out. We are going Edwards afterwards. Um, he seems okay with stuff, so. And Edwards, Edwards being a Jedi. Now it's time to be competitive now, guys.
missing of this footage. <laughs> it is Aaron's footage. I'll edit my own footage later. <laughs> I seem to be capturing all of Aaron's bad moments. For your viewers to see. Different shot. <laughs> Boogie dance. <laughs> oh, oh, that was nice head work. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. It was. Oh. <laughs> so basically, we got Chiefs against Ed right here. Up it goes, and catch it he does, because it's Chief stuff coming, right? Let's go. Yeah, let's go, thumbs up everything. So, wait, guys, I sure hope uh, you like the sports gear I'm in, because I did actually bring proper sports gear to Bamford match this time around. And we've also got uh, Luke cameos. And a bad serve. <laughs> We are keeping that in. I might edit out every other one, but I'm keeping that one in. <laughs> and even more Luke Carrios. The complete opposite of what people actually want to see. Nice shot. There we go. I still hate Roy Hodges guy missed all my best smashes though. So we're gonna make this last point of the uh, clip here. Oh, up high. Nice shot. Nice final shot of the clip, I would go as far to say even. Let's see if that backfires. What backfires? Yeah, that's, that's definitely in. What was that? It was a
<laughs> excuses, excuses, excuses. And guys, just to prove it's not that, that it's not that bright in here at all. So he was making an excuse. <laughs> Peeking your eyes. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, good Sorry, I didn't catch up properly. Yes, let's get a better angle here, guys. Oh, I think Aaron's going to win this little phase. screens made things look crap. I know, because I've used them in the past. Well, why didn't you react, Ted? Come on, Ed. Literally, I just saw it stay there and just push it That's it. Fourteen nine, because they didn't react. Aaron 
Aaron serves, Edward hits. And, and Aaron misses. Then. I have no idea who, who, who's winning actually. Edward serves, Aaron hits it, and it hits the net. No point to the team of two. Yeah, Aaron is, is, is winning then. Three oh. misses. Another match point now. I'm not sure. Edward hits it and he's out. Aaron serves. <laughs> and he flunks it. And is it Jivan? And yes. Thirteen fifteen apparently. That went out. That went out. Do you hit it? Do you hit it? Do you miss it? Gets it. And then, yep. Edward gets it again. And Aaron misses. Aaron misses. Yep. Wait, what? Yep. Do you know? Edward. Uh, Aaron, I mean. Aaron gets it. And he's out. Yeah. Ed, Aaron is winning. 14-19. Aaron has it. Oh, got it. Oh. Good shot there. They're catching up slowly. Can they continue? <laughs> Checking who my phone was on the home event. Whoops. All right. There goes. Edward hits it. Aaron, Chiefen, uh, Aaron, and Aaron misses. They mm. are catching up slowly. Oh, okay, Edward Sterling. Aaron shoes. Oh, nice. Aaron gets 
Oh, 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 this is getting heated up now. Come on, you two. <laughs> All right. Gian says, Aaron smashes it. Henry gets it. Gets it. And Aaron wins. Aaron wins by, with, by two points. Well done. Yeah. Could get into all of you. Yeah. Yeah, conducting a post match interview. We're trying to find out who our sponsors are, so we're looking at the back of Ed's t shirt. <laughs> okay, so we've got our sponsors. We've got Primark, Nike, <laughs> so Adidas. Adidas. Adidas, okay. Adidas. Okay. So we're ready for any question that you may have. Anyway, uh, uh, first one is for Aaron. How did you feel when you won the match? Very happy, especially since they scared me. I thought it was going to come back. Okay, so for you two, what sort of tactics did you have in, in mind? Okay, so there's two parts of our tactics. We know that Aaron is a formidable player when it comes to badminton, especially his right-hand smash. So we decided to avoid that as much as possible by playing to our strengths. So Ed is very good at hitting to the back of the court. I prefer being at the front. So essentially, we sort of... After serving, I went straight to the front, Ed sweeped the back, and that's how we sort of imbued confidence in ourselves to go away and almost clinch the match. And oh, and also we use it every single day to shift the clock as well. Yeah. Yes. Like me trying to distract Aaron and like putting a shuttle cut through the bench to this time. Yeah. Yep. So they keep acting in front of the court and then just doing it. Bam. <laughs> Now that they can get the idea. Yeah. That's true. So, what do you think of your sponsors, all of you? Well, our <laughs> digits were absolutely horrible. It's way too common. <laughs> I have zero I think on this thing. I think it's nice like as that and Paul really cared about us. They get us like a uh, seat at the O2 Arena or something. Like they like a Unfortunately not. So we're going to have to settle with Loughborough as our venue. Yes. Not an actual stadium. Every single race you go that it's super similar. So do you care to say why you're leaving so early? Not that it matters. Yeah, I've got a wedding to attend to. Not my wedding, of course, but... Not yet, anyway. No. Are you so excited for this? Is it one of those Indian weddings where they invite, like, what, 600 people? Yeah. Have fun with that. Have a, a good time. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, everyone. thanks for coming along, mate. I'll see you some other time. See you next time. Bye. See you. Bye. Is the light green yet? That doesn't look green, or am I colorblind? No, that's... Wait, there's lots of cars right here, and Ed was saying about if he was uh, when he when he becomes movie director, even he wants to blow them up. I wouldn't blow all of them up. Awesome. Exactly. <laughs> also, exactly. So basically, Ed is going to be Michael Bay 2.0. No, I'm not. Where's yeah, you are. Where's no, you're going to be Michael Bay 2.0, oh, but actually okay. making good movies. Oh, and now it's green. <laughs> Wow, look at all the pretty flowers. Hey, Ed, tell everyone how much you love pretty little flowers and how an Eddie you are. Not even gonna... Okay, flowers are nice. But only I, I only like the red ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they're for blood-coloured ones. He likes to think of them as blood-stained red flowers. No. <laughs> Nah, no, I'm holding my coat on because I'm getting really cold. Yeah, that's true. It's cold outside. Uh, but either way, our first stop's home bargains right beside the flowers and this edge lord right here. It's funny though, he's always edgy in real life, but then when it comes to videos, he's not that edgy. Well, no, because I haven't uploaded in like over a year. I mean, in my videos, dude. <laughs> true. Okay, so we're looking for some snacks because Luke wants to spend that pound we, he found before in the previous clip. <laughs> Out of everything you could have got, it had to be licorice. Or at least look at, mind you, because I hate some licorice. Mm. Oh, Those yeah. are pretty good, definitely. Mm. 
Stop blocking the camera, yo face, yo face camera hugger. Uh, I don't know. These are the really good ones. They look exactly the same. Yeah, same packaging, but these are butter candies, and these are creamy. That's really bad design because they look exactly the same. How are you supposed to tell the difference? No, they don't because these ones, here, these candies here, clearly look different to these candies here. I mean, from a distance. I mean, like, what if someone's uh, short sighted? You get my point. I get your point. But. I mean, I mean, you can tell just fine, but others, maybe not. Oh. Nah, it's, I'd like to say something about it. So you actually gonna get this? Nah. 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 Way too sugary. I'm trying to Luke is definitely getting something now. Uh, Let's look at what he's <laughs> trying to find all the more. I'm sorry for making you guys hungry, but that's what me and Luke kind of tend to do. It's our, uh, it's a well-known fact that we make people hungry with our food videos or food in our videos. Uh, well, now you do. Nice. Yeah, I'll see you guys back once Lucas actually picks them in. So this will be about 10 million years. And 10 million years is going to pass right now. You're supposed to cut it there, by the way. Have you finally chose something? Yes. 10,000 years later. Yeah. What's it 10,000? Is that what we said? <laughs> I thought it was like 10 million, but never mind. Something like that. It's been a, a lot of years I could barely speak right now. I can't even hear myself speaking. What do you say? What? What do you say? Aaron's favorite. They thought, I, I specifically remember it was not being my favorite, but I can't remember what it tastes like because it's been how many years they said it was before. Right, and it's just, Luke had a pound. He doesn't anymore. He has a penny now, but that makes him even richer than before, right? Yay. So rich. Oh, and by the way, I have a very important question for you. Yes. Do you get a bus with that? Man, the rain really picked up, but Ed is really triggered right now. Yeah, my Sorry. coat is still stuck. What an annoying coat, but I Anyway, next up is the uh, CEX, as things go. Hopefully, they can have some cool slides in there. We love recycling. Sure, we do. They mean game recycling, not actual recycling. Yeah. Well, maybe they... Wow, that's a small section, even smaller than uh, before. They have three Wave 2 Trapmasters, a Spitfire, those two guys, a Wildfire, and an Earth Hammer, which basically means if they got the equivalent of nothing, so you already have them. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, they had a, a, an, an elite chop chop in last week, but clearly that sold out, so that's unfortunate. But they have lots of uh, Amiibo and Infinity no, stuff. I am starting no, with no, Infinity no. stuff, or at least the Marvel ones, oh, like Black Panther, who looks awesome, awesome right now. And Ronin, you can say he looks pretty cool too. It's just a shame that the character isn't the coolest figure, I'd go as far to say. Yes. But, anyways, when it comes to Scarlet, there's a bit of a ditto, so I'll have to see you guys at the next stop one more. Yeah, I love Smash too, but Pete, uh, Edward's really into his whole Dragon Ball thing right now. It's all okay. I know someone who is really hyped for that game. Like, I'm pretty sure he's got it already. Yeah, he played the uh, beta and everything, but the game I'm excited for is this one. I'm going to have to ask for the uh, ultimate edition for Christmas for my parents because that, my friends, would be worth it. I love the first one uh, in particular, which is why I'm hyped to play the second one eventually once I get a PS4 that is. I bet you some people have already beat the game, though, considering it's only been out a few days. So, yeah, these two are going to have a match, by the looks of it. Let's see who shall be the winner. How do you get two players? Oh, wow, they have lots of Red Dead 2 uh, on display, but I don't blame them. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. A single player. Yeah. Look, wait, how I'm so behind this conversation right now. And Ed's coat is still down. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was either. It wasn't me, so I don't care. Yeah, that's the oh, wow, that guy's a bit ripped. Yeah, that's that's just fake. Yeah. Why is it cool? Oh, Why do people oh, want Goku true. in Smash Bros yeah, so much? <laughs> I, I, I would think uh, I probably should answer that. Goku. The comments are going to have an influx for this video from that. So my question, Ed, is uh, you in particular. Why would you want Goku in Smash? Because Goku's cool. Right. Because Goku's Goku. I, ex excellent answer. Yeah, so hurry up and get into a match, man. Oh, I, I got storage to worry about here. Is... Like, literally, I have 56 minutes of storage left. 
Because she's the versus this time control the person. <laughs> I thought you all know people would know his name, Ed, or do you just not dis uh, or no, do you just disrespect just him? It's just called, t look, he's called Time Patrol. That's his name? Yeah, that's No, wonder why you don't respect him, which is why you didn't give him a proper name. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. I can forget how big his TV is, I need to put my phone at a higher angle, you could say. I remember all the controls. I played a game like this at EGA, so it's called Has Been Heroes or something, but it's not quite the same quite clearly. Yeah, I can Dude, you're being crushed right now, come on. Oh, there you go, that's better. Now you get my combos in. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this game is so Yeah, it's a 3D fighter, and I do enjoy myself some 3D fighters. Like, action and uh, platforming games definitely my favorite. I suppose you could say that, but it's kind of so much. It's a combination of the two. I say you would like this game. Yeah, I would like this game, probably would. Especially its cartoon style. I love the cell shadedness about it. Because cell shaded is my favorite graphic style. Well, I'm pretty sure though that Ed's favorite uh, graphic style is realistic because then he gets to see more realistic blood. Oh, yeah. Because why not the Super Commander? It's over 9,000 yet. Well, Gogeta's power level is like over a billion. Yep, that's definitely over 9,000. Yeah. So hurry up and win already, dude. <laughs> well, it is a, a battle. Okay, if it's a battle, just want him to win already. Oh, I'm going to charge him to do the assault. I mean, like, it's quite so clear that he's not going to lose from this point, let's be honest. Missed him. It's really hard to pull off that move. The throws just slam him to the ground. Oh. That's a pretty awesome move, though, I will admit. Oh, oh I should have left my key in there. Smash him up. Oh, close, close. Oh. And Super finish. If I can hit him, that is. And the answer is you can't, but that is definitely a finish right there. Kapow. Definitely in the market for this game sometime soon as well. You know, I like the box, it's shiny. It's been a while since I've seen an, uh, a Toys to Life display as big as this one, so it's cool to start at least, at least offer a stat, but look at the prices on those things. That is far too pricey, at least for me, mind you, which is the main reason why I'm not getting it yet. I'm just waiting for a sale, one would say. But those things, look at them, they're tiny, tiny! Hopefully they're detailed at least, or at least more detailed than they look. So yeah. Stolen. Pretty cool, but as for the Skarners, I can't seem to find them. They don't have any sort of period section for Skarners whatsoever, so that's unfortunate, to say the least. I didn't know Super Mario uh, went to the PS4. Oh, wait, never mind. It's Assassin's Creed. I totally forgot that they uh, followed the same name. Cheers. Haha, <laughs> I just nicked Ed's seed. Special thank you to the Ed from McFlurry still. And I'm still not a huge fan of that shirt, but whatever. I mean, I like the design of the shirt, I just don't like the game. Uh, I like, I'm going to go close to the uh, I asked him to pick me up, and he said that he was already halfway through a bottle of wine. What a crime. So, how was the burger? Sounds like pretty nice. Nice. And how was the sock man back there? What? Right there. See, sock man. It's the ironic guy himself. Do you want to go and sit on his knee? I, I could probably do that now, actually. Probably could, yes, with your I couldn't. German flag thing right now. I couldn't before. Not with that, but with it on. Wait, you got that? Wait, did you get that from Germany? No, it's just a, it's, it's just a bottle that I haven't It's a cool code. Oh, now mark that, my friends, as a shot. Nice one. I am so happy with that. Do you know why I'm so happy with that? Pixels. Why? It's actually date accurate. I can't yeah. believe there's something in my life yeah. is accurate for once. The from, from, from Tuesday this year was on a 9th of October. I know because it was for week after my birthday. Good job, Pixel. Uh, Good job. And it also has a on one. Oh no, it's the bad one for Odeon, which Ed is shocked to still even in business. Yeah, I am actually surprised it's still in business. Either way, we're currently waiting for Ed's dad to come pick us up, and then we're going to go Ed's helper. I'm going to help him out with an assignment based thing because Ed has three to worry about once right now, whereas I only have two because one of them. The deadline just got reached, so I have to hand it in right here. Good on you.
Okay, that doesn't just go up. Bye. <laughs> they were so cute back then. And I'm still way taller there. <laughs> but yeah, but now we're about the uh, same size because we're on no stilts or anything here. Mm -hmm. Guys, if you can even uh, see both of us, hopefully, anyways. Okay, guys, as you can see, we're now back at Ed's place and Luke has just stabbed himself. But what's hilarious is that Ed just said the lighter feature on his Kylo Ren lightsaber just broke and Luke yeah. just got it to work back again. <laughs> yeah, now it's not going to work. Don't smack it over bed, silly old fault, you. <laughs> that is your fault. But yeah, I do like the nice TV setup and, of course, the Star Wars things. Not that I could name them. This room is like 15 times bigger than mine. <laughs> And it feels yeah, so much more bigger with the new way you've organised it as well. It just feels bigger, you know? Yeah, I wasn't really... If, wasn't yeah, it does. down that far before. Yeah, it's, you know, there's a lot of money in but that. It was that, that, it was that like, book bed thing. Actually, it's still the same bed. Oh, right. I remember oh, when we wild. played the Switch on yeah, there, and the same, Switch on there looks so much more better on my TV. Yeah. It's the same bed, we just moved it over there. I'm just going to pop this in charge. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nerf gun fights were brilliant. Outside. Oh, yeah. They were always the best. Yeah. And they're going back to the whole car things before Edward has even more cars there, you can see, as you can see. And more Nerf guns as well, apparently. Oh, don't, don't touch that one, that one's really powerful. Like, don't even look at it, Luke, don't even not, look at it's it. Not a... It's not It's not a prank, fully. Yeah. All right, I'll pull it back for that. Yeah. It's Just the way how Ed thing. knows so much about these. Mm -hmm. way about them. Yeah. Do I suppose we should get onto that assignment, right? Yeah, we should. So, the premise of this interview is that uh, we're planning on making a, uh, a, a ten part TV series concerning in two um, union graduates and how their lives follow. There's, I think there's like six, yeah, six union graduates. Um, and discussing it, we're discussing. <coughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not redoing this. It's, it's just. It doesn't have to be professionally filmed, but we're professionally filming it. So that's what it is. But um, I'm asking you because you're obviously you. You two are both the. Um, I've forgotten what it's called. Target audience. Thanks. Thank you. Um, yeah, you two are in the age range of the target audience. So um, it's basically discussing like what sort of platform this. Um, I've got the um, I've got the question. Very funny. I've got the um, I'm serious. Very brain for questions. No, I don't want to call my dad right now. <laughs> 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 dad, I've been to the already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to message him either. Um, <laughs> Just be so this, this, is well be this is the best no, interview ever. <laughs> it actually is as well. Do you want me to solve a Rubik's Cube while we're at it? <laughs> <laughs> best interview ever, 10 out of 10 out of 10. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 uh, oh, my legs are off you. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. I don't want to get blood on chainsaw. Alright then. Question one. Which media platforms do you use most? Broadcast or streaming? Streaming, broadcast. Okay. Um, is there a particular reason why you use this one more? No. Okay. Um, streaming because it tends to be cheaper than buying things separately. Ah, oh, okay. So, like, buying streaming services like Now TV or Netflix, because then I can just flick on a film that I want to watch rather than even go to a store and buy it on DVD. Okay. I'll say thanks for the long answer. I'm going to have to type up. You're welcome. <laughs> um, how often do you use this media platform? Daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, Daily. decadely? Daily. <laughs> Daily for you. Probably every other day. So, every two days? Every two days, around that, on average. Okay. Um, what genre do you prefer? Ooh, I like a lot of genres, but if I have to choose, maybe horror. I like a lot of horrors and action movies. Horror, for, horror for you? Well, it, it depends on me, because like, I, I like things from action to, to sci-fi, but there is one sub-genre which I, I really like, it, it is called film novel, I, I think it's French. It's basically where the bad woman makes the good men do bad things. Just, so just like real life? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
good friend. Um, as a, the first question is why you prefer this genre? Because it's more entertaining and it adds more entertainment value to something that you're terrified of. It kind of hooks you into the film even more. Oh, okay. Well, with this genre, it's generally older films, but there's lots of visual e elements and no like crazy editing or anything like that. Also, it gives you more in-depth view onto the people's lives. It doesn't go off or plot either. Okay. Well, that, that's all the questions, by the way. There's only five of them. Oh, oh nice. That was like five. I can't count anymore. Because <laughs> he's brains. Um, How do I get an eight match for this? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, well thank, thank you both. Um, thank okay. you for being so professional. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the most professional interview I've had in my whole life. Yes. Because it's yes. also my first one. Five stars. Yes, 10 out of 10 IGN, definitely. Yes, definitely, yes. <laughs> okay. Bye, camera. See you, camera. <sighs> now, that is a sword. Insert Final Fantasy VII music right here. Isn't that also... Oh, I think that sword's going to win. Oh, wait, isn't this yes. also the sword which you uh, hurt your back with? Yeah, it's actually my neck. I was your like, neck, I right? Was, I was testing it, and I did, like, a move... Oh, si no. I did a move similar to... Town. I moved as up with... I was doing a move similar to this, but I didn't, but I didn't like bend my back. I kept my back straight, so oh, then no. it just went like that. And it pulled me. <laughs> yeah, don't do the like, same move on camera, dude. Yeah, I'm doing it slowly and not moving. I can feel it straining my neck right here, and it was going like, like three times faster than that. So you can imagine how painful it was. This guy ditched me at the leisure centre because of that. How dare you, sword? Yeah, I yeah, because I really hurt my neck. Yes, that this was unfortunate, no. And I do like that photo as well, so, cool. Yeah. I just asked what this was for. This is for speakers, for this. So what's the epic about this? It's that. It's for the Horizon 4. Oh, yeah, I love the start of music, so accurate to driving. Mm -hmm. Curly Ed's enjoying it, too. <laughs> yeah, the music, they always put really stupid music in this game. So oh, what's your quick that. review of this game? Two out of ten IGN. What? <laughs> Two out of ten IGN. Because in the, because when you say it's something and something out of ten IGN, the lower the number, usually the better it is. Probably. So if you say ten out of ten IGN, it's terrible because that's how IGN does things. Yeah, that is like, very true. Like seriously, have you seen the reviews for a Me Pokemon the Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? No. Seven point two out of ten. Too many H. Um. Too many H N. Whatever. Uh, were they called HMs? Yeah, they were. Hey, um, hey, too many HMs and too much water, even though the game was set in an archipelago. Oh, a root creator. That means I can make tracks that are showing like a pay. Um, I mean, something that, uh, something R18 rated. There we go. I can make something that's, I can make a track that's shaped at R18. That's going to hurt you, shouldn't it? Oh, He's literally holding a gun to your head. How do you feel? I feel like grabbing my gun. I feel like grabbing my seriously overpowered gun that's right there. Yeah, if that one's the rival oh, or whatever it is. Unloaded. It's unloaded. So right basically, now. it is going to yeah. hurry up and get into some gameplay of this so we can actually get gameplay. Because after we're done with this, we're going to mess around with Black Ops 2. And then hopefully by then the weather will be better for uh, dueling. <laughs> Xbox fixes. No specific Xbox fixes. And then look at PC fixes. Xbox oh. Three. Zero to three. So you're trying to say the Xbox was better to begin with? Well, yeah, especially since the Xbox One X gets the gets the performance mode that no other, that like none of of the consoles get. Not even the PCs get that. Nice. So great game, guys. This is the entire game right here. There's nothing more than this. Oh, and there's also this loading screen right here. So there you go. Have, that's the whole game. I already have both those guys. Welcome back. Cool. Oh. Oh. Voice activated. Everything's yeah. voice activated oh, these days. First off, oh, uh, there's no point. There's no point in me going. Oh, F355 Berlinetta. Is that worth it? Ooh, that's a Berlinetta. Oh, the F355 oh. Berlinetta. It's an old car, but. No, but it's quick. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Yeah, these two oh, definitely seem to improve. No, you shouldn't. Definitely not. And then now he's literally holding it. And now this is a 2008 Lamborghini Revenge. You know what? In all fairness, that one looks pretty damn cool. I yeah. Could, now I know that so hurry up, make a decision, and just and drive. Problem is that if I buy the, 
Wait, I said just drive, just drive, drive, drive just in, just drive. Which car did that Aaron choose? I haven't chosen a car. Actually, so maybe buyer. I should actually do some Forza on things and buy that because the car I had to buy to get that car costs around about a million credits. Jesus. Only? <laughs> yeah, I think it's around a million credits. Legendary Cloven, isn't that the sorting hat? You guys can't look at that and tell me it's not the sorting hat. That does look a lot like the sorting hat. Uh, well, so, okay. so when are you going to actually Queen, be driving then? We, you see, people, people say people say that the Forzathon events in Forza Horizon 3 are too easy. Well then, let's have a look at the daily challenges. Complete a cross-country event. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if that would be difficult. Um, How long does it take to complete one of those? Depends on which one I pick. Oh. Um, earn two awesome air skills. Ooh, that sounds very difficult. Um, it's just sarcastic because I can't turn. You'll find out. Um, yes, wake yes. surface and earn two it's great awesome. drafting skills. Mm. Okay, so drafting. How hard could that be? No, it's, 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 it's very, very, very difficult. Oh. Uh, so, in, according to that, I can figure. I determine that yes, the Forzathons are still way too easy. <laughs> Um, I'm not even... So he was being sarcastic. I was Ooh. being sarcastic. That was so easy. So we're going to drive? Just drive. Wow. First of all, do I have... I hope you like this gameplay, guys. There it is. Are there any new vehicles for me? Answer. Don't you mean vehicles? you got to say it correctly, dude. Wait, did I not pick up the coupe? Jeez, Come on, me, pick up the Civic. What do you like, honestly? A Civic rally car. And I'm what is he like, honestly? Would you still? I'm not gonna continue with that. Yeah. And if they're not, if they're not in, it doesn't matter. I'll just, I'll just. Actually, I won't do it right now. I'll just back out and get them later. So we actually get into actual gameplay here, like five minutes in. Probably. If you want me to to shoot him, just just say it in a said way. Okay. Right. Nah, I'm not going to. Shut up. Oh. Tell you what, I'm just going to take this out for a drive. Why not? Ah, oh, yes, finally. What a race on a drive. <laughs> drive. I mean, like, this, this, this game is open world, isn't it? So you can, like, take on races as they pop up in the open world or something like that, right? But I do like that sound system. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds really good. Wow, yeah, this is very good looking game, much more so than it looks like on my phone, trust me guys. I can definitely tell they did some changes to the sound in the game, because all three single card, um, like a while back, sounded terrible. What, yeah. So Edward didn't like Motorsport 7, I think it was, because yeah. apparently his driving physics were awful, so how driving physics in this? You heard it first here, but folks. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to sound like a pussy because it's late. I'm not. No, 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 sorry, I'm not trying to sound like um um. Uh, like censored. A, a, a yeah a. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be a censored word. Um, <laughs> um uh, by saying like I cannot handle the driving physics. It's it, no, the driving physics is just terrible. The yeah. Drivers. Most of the games driving physics have always been terrible. Yeah, I suppose so. But man, this game just looked a lot of fun. But you do know now that if right. people pick up this game and they don't like it, it's totally coming down to you. <laughs> okay. Is this a race don't crash. or...? No, nah, it's a speed drive. Is this a... Right. I'm just, wondering what, I'm just wondering what the numbers are for. What are the numbers for? Ah, uh, those numbers at the top? Yeah. Those, are, um, those go to what skill points so I can spend to make my cars. Yeah. Like I can earn more skill points and all that. On some cars, I can use those to get rewards, like on the Lamborghini Mora, if I spend 99 of them, I can get the Revent and Forza edition that you just saw. Nice. And one last question, is this uh, open world based on anything in real life? Yeah, um, it's, well, it's based in the UK, and there are some, like, um, UK landmarks, like, like um, there's Bramborough Castle in the game. And, Ooh. Uh, you know that bridge from the uh, the Harry Potter movie? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's in the game. Nice. And they probably had to pay a lot to have that modeled in the game. No doubt. Um, 
So is it big overall then? It's it's pretty big. It's not as big as Horizon 3's open world, but that kind of makes sense considering that they had to make it that the, the open worlds change for four seasons. So yeah. yeah. There's a limit to even the to what the Xbox One X can handle. Undertaking a Mini Cooper, my mum will be very very annoyed with me right now. <laughs> Seriously, she loves the class of me. Oh, oh damn it, yeah. I should have crashed into it. <laughs> yeah, that would have been even more... Next uh, video, guys. Take some Mickey. So just like that, I think we're going to end up here with all that uh, footage out of the way. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, all the more. Can I crash into that mini I just saw? Um, but he's got to do that first, so we'll sit That was close. Damn it, I missed. You missed. You okay. fall. Okay, that cop... That, that RX-7 was better. Like, how does this thing seem to have quite good exploration, though? Okay, there we go. Now, crash now does it feel better? Does it feel, feel better that your mum is now triggered? Yes, very close. Nice. You feel better. What did you just say? I said I'm going to chuck this in the black bin where it can be burnt because I have zero care for the environment. Joke, jokes, jokes, and you should care about the environment. Whew. I thought you were serious for a moment there. His serious face is so serious. I'm a bit tired because they teamed up on me because I'm too good at this. Wow. Why don't you just slay him then and there for four? Go on, guys, make this climactic at least. Okay, I hope you guys think that 16 and 17 year olds playing as a little playing with a lightsaber is cool. Because it is. Oh, you're just giving me ideas now. <laughs> oh, he's getting cocky. Okay, Luke's just currently playing some uh, sports mix right now. He did the uh, Star Cup uh, with hockey, I believe, right? Yeah, I won. Yeah, so he's finally won that trophy for us, which is fantastic. And I also have these characters set up for a nice, awesome little uh, Scarlet Games uh, recording that we're going to be doing in the morning. But apart from that, this particular video uh, is coming to an end, though. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I sure hope you enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed uh, recording this, as always. And man, this is going to be one impressive-looking trophy. I'm going to have to stay around to see it, of course. They all combine into one now that we've got all of the gems and everything, because he did uh, basketball beforehand as well. Perhaps we should have done this in a video, but eh, who cares? Or at least a video in, uh, in and of itself. What's, what's going a on? black hole! Mario's gonna die! Really yeah, I don't think this angle is as good as the rest of them when it comes to this game, mind you. What the heck is going on? I'm sure we're about to find out. Do you it know? reveals a new mode, dun dun dun! Do you know? What happens? No. Oh, right, so it is a mystery to you as well. Oh, yeah, this is a perfect end to the video for, for a new mystery as to what happens when this uh, ends Ooh. to be solved. Oh, Intriguing. What the? Is this a dragon? Please be a dragon. I think it's a dragon. Oh, my lord, it's a dragon. Well, it's a dragon thing. What the heck? Final Fantasy, what do you know? That's awesome, that what? guest appearance and everything. What? Do you, have to, do, you have to play, do you have to play at hockey, or...? I don't know. Well, it's a final boss fight of some sort, so... Well, I'm oh, gonna right, let... Okay, I see, I I'm see. gonna uh, actually record this, because I need some sort of recording of this uh, for the... Uh, at, at some point, whether it's for the Let's Play or not. <laughs> How are you to Luke? What the heck? Oh, right. Oh, interesting. Why they chose this in specific, I have no idea, but... Whatever. Hey, hold on, there we go. Ow. We remote controls, they're great. <laughs> so yeah, an exciting end to a hunting video. Just got all the more exciting that is if we can actually any, beat this boss fight. Any damage? This is the hard bit. What is this? I think that's for throwing bombs at it. How do you do it? How do you throw bombs? I, I've uh, seen the same burn as before. Okay, yeah. Beat. If I can actually hit it. Yeah, that's the thing, you can't. So there's your problem, my friend. By the time I can. Nice. What is this, though? It's already said from uh, Final Fantasy, Behemoth or whatnot. Why, though? 
I don't know. It's, I think it's a bit random. I'm sure it will be explained, though. I mean, like, look at those crystals. Crystals look kind of like what the uh, doing crystal damage. trophies were like. He's barely doing any damage at all. Don't say that. He'll uh, move on to the next phase soon, and then he'll be sorry you were saying that. But it's kind of like a combination of everything. So the bombs are kind of like uh, basketball, and then uh, the sticks are kind of like hockey, Leave in a way. Me. Oh, you get increased powers. That's cool. This and then the fact that you actually have to aim them at your enemies is kind of like dodgeball. Oh, yeah, that's the basketball part, all right. I got his head and I did a bit of damage. Oh, no, you're getting green shells and everything. And then there's also whatever sport was left that's clearly important. Some, volleyball, some weird, yeah. Which sort of out. Maybe volleyball is the bombs, actually, with your aiming and everything. You know, it's pretty interesting of them all, though, I'd say. Oh, God. There you go, he's doing damage now. I hope you're happy. Although you're, you've done half damage to him, so that's kind of cool. Man, this is definitely a very gameplay epi uh, video today, I've noticed. But uh, nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Oh, Luigi, help me. Ow. He's Luigi, he's the better brother. I'm probably going to go lose this thing. You better not, you're on film. Ow, yeah, I'm going to lose this. Don't lose it. No losing, no losing, no losing. I'm very probably will lose it. Like a loser. Because only losers lose things. Okay, cool. Nice job. You're yeah, almost yeah. halfway down. Oh, that's a bit dangerous there, actually. <laughs> yeah, tails always tend to be involved to these four parts of uh, enemies oh, like God, this. Thank you. Take that, sucker. I need to try and hit him as well with the sword thing. Oh, God. Oh. I think it looks a bit like a hockey Ooh, stick. Oh, well, that's close. Oh, I jumped over it just in time. <laughs> oh, this time. Good. What is he doing? I keep on, I keep on forgetting the own, own controls. <laughs> What's he like? Honestly, you probably shouldn't answer that. Because, you know, if you actually answer that, we might get some real, actual, honest answers. <laughs> Always getting powerful now. Oh, God. Luigi, no! No, Luigi! Luigi! Be the better beloved, man. Oh, crap, I missed. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're, we're dead. Luigi's out. He's yeah, dead. Luigi is out. How do, I, much, so. how do I revive? I don't know. I'm dead, you know, so, you know. It's, uh, it's cool. Watch me crush this boss with one hand. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Luigi's back. Yeah. Wow. What's that? Luigi, are you gonna help me? What? Oh, look. I think he's a bit traumatized from before. I jumped uh, out, uh, out of the right to as well. Oh, no. Uh, that's bad. Oh, nice save. You saved yourself there. This could be a clutch victory here, guys. Could be, but I don't think it will be. Here, to be I need that. Where are you, Luigi? Hit, hit. Oh. Ooh. Just missing. <gasps> yeah, just, but he just missed you as well, it would seem. It's a just missing spree, one would say. Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Yeah, she could also say that. Uh, in a sleep. Oh, okay. You know what? It was bad though. I accidentally put my things in front of the camera like an idiot. Good. Come on. Hopefully, this angle is a little bit better as well as angles go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what she said. For there. I can't believe that was the insult I just referred to right Luigi now. Luigi just survived that game. He was got we got got hit again. Ah, uh -huh, boom! Come on, I'm, I'm so close now. I'm sure me and Luke both love blowing stuff up, especially when it comes to the giant ow, 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 dragon demon <gasps> things. Oh my god! Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> I think that dra uh, giant dragon demon things was a very accurate description of that enemy, don't you? Yeah, but I can't seem to hit him. Oh, Luigi's facing it on. 
Head to head, that's why we use a better brothers here, people. Uh, I can't die. Over over better off brothers. There we go. Head to head. Well, what's he doing? All right, he's got Headshot. Good old Luigi. Luigi, no. you got this. You gotta go a bit more close. I know, I know. Shells are the. You can keep your distance for those. But do do something at least. Jump. Not when he's jumping over him. You don't. Move, run now. This is so so random though, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Oh wait, I need to run. That rock or whatever that means to do. Stunning maybe. Oh, yeah. That's your main source of power. Like, you want to build up coins with those things to deal more power to him, as the, the power the, wouldn't the, tail right there. Oh no, I'm dead. Well, but again, I haven't actually seen this before, which is why it was such a surprise to me to see stuff from Final Fantasy. Come on, dude. Okay, guys, you didn't miss much, but basically, as we were saying earlier, um, it's funny this, that this beast thingy right here is from Final Fantasy, because the sword that Edward made and was shown off earlier is also based off Final Fantasy. Hey, good, thank you. Yeah, my uh, phone cut out because one of my videos was editing finished, uh, edit, uh, editing actually, uh, finished saving for me edit, so it kind of cut over to that rather than recording silly old phone doing that to me and everything. I'm going to have to get closer. Yeah, take that thing down and out, or at least Try. get quite close to it. Like this close? Come on, How do you miss that, man? I On second thoughts, I probably shouldn't ask that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that's a bit of a uh early throw. Oh I didn't know you You hit your own brother. What does it wrong with you? This is so strange. Why? Oh no, not not again. No, Luigi, no, Luigi. Luigi. Oh wait, no, he's fine. You see what I mean? Luigi's too much of a beast. He's almost done though. Oh, I I sort of made him face me instead. <laughs> mm. Oh crap. Um I gotta stay over here now. Because he's gonna make things fall. Oh, Luigi's it. Hit. He's dead. I don't need... Finish him off. I'm trying. If I, if I uh, die now... Try, yes. If I die now, I'm gonna cry. Don't cry. What's gonna happen? Oh, God. Not those things again. Yes, those things again. Now deal with it. And aim accurately next time. Oh, wait, never mind. I was accurate he's enough. He's back, he's back, he's back. He's back, 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 back again, again, again. Come on, so close. Oh, crap. Um, I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> Come on, Ouija. He was down, but he ain't. Uh... Oh, that was close. Come on, Mario, get up. I need you. Do you, though? Yes, I do. Bad. Do you, though? Yes, I do. <laughs> Jeez, like, those really weren't giving you items there, were they? Oh, crap. <laughs> that was in yes, the good, wrong direction. Good, good Mario. Good Mario. That there way. you go. Two, three, uh, one or two more hits should do it. Oh, God. Ah. Still just one or two more hits, though. Like, you could even do it with a flipping uh, Sword thing, glow yeah. stick thing, yeah. However, as you do that, so do the bomb and then the glow stick thingy to finish him off with. Like so, brother boy. He happy. Hey, show off your victory thingy again. Yeah, that's all victory style, all right? That was so strange, right? Oh yeah, actually, speaking of that uh, sword from earlier, I actually have a few photos to show you guys, so you guys can see those on the screen over more. Do we unlock a new, a new character? We shall see. Who knows? Maybe you finally get the ninja. Ninja, I, oh. I doubt that, but... One could hope. Yeah, I do hope. But be sure to skip the credits, because no one wants to watch credits. Like that. Yeah, like that. Loading screens are much more uh, impressive than credits. Oh, it's uh, different colours now. I want to watch this. Well, watch it then. I want to see what, what happens. I'm sure we shall see. Using our eyes, because that's what eyes do. They see things. I've seen things that I'll never see. So, and it's so because of him. So he's in, in the centre now, so do we have to unlock new... Is there new games on there now? We'll see, I'm sure. Or a new location? Maybe we'll unlock more Final Fantasy characters. <laughs> oh, it's just this. Credits. Yeah, yeah. so skip the credits then. Nice. I don't think we've unlocked any new, any new character. Well, there's our special one then. <laughs> I, I can't skip this part, man. 
Yeah, that's unfortunate. Does it look any different? No, no. Same. That that was so weird. It was, yes. Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy yeah. weird. Yeah. It seems like there's more Final Fantasy in this uh, video than actual Scarners. That's unfortunate. But hey, we did have our theme Scarners, Prison Break, and Zap, as you can now see on the screen. And also Stump Smash and Boomer, who are going to be part of the Scarners Games uh, pre recording thing that me and Luke are doing. Purely because now is the best opportunity to do so. Yeah, we've seen this like five times. Move on already. Four crystals. Sports mix is now uh, available. Oh, I think that combines all four modes into one. Interesting. Congratulations. Hard difficulty is now available on, yeah, hockey mode. And, and for it. unlocks, you got nothing, son. Oh. Oh, that's cool, man. Don't go into it yet. We'll have to leave that for uh, the actual sports mix videos. I want to see what it is, though. Not on... Uh, just wait till after yeah, I'm finished I'll, with football I'll wait. I'll wait. He's waiting. What a good Lucas. So regardless, uh, as we were saying before, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll be seeing you next time to the video. But until such a moment, peace. Yeah, I'm back to the eyebrows thing. Uh, so yeah, I am here for this quick post-video clip. Uh, and I'm back with Cappy once again, and Chloe was back there also. I kind of need this. But um, anyway, I just wanted to add in this post clip to apologise about Edward's a foul language earlier in the video. But the whole joke behind that was the fact that Edward never acts edgy enough on camera because I got keep things PG. So I decided, you know what, screw it. For once, we're going to have something uh, edgy enough in here. So that's the irony behind the joke. You know, the irony behind the joke is that we're trying to keep this PG in in the process of making it the complete opposite of what PG stuff is normally like. So regardless, I sure hope you guys enjoyed that joke all the more because I am starting to notice that my uh, audience is a whole lot more mature, especially since I've grown from the main Skarn audience at the moment. And the main Skarn's audience is a quite old audience because the first game, Skarn's Brothers Adventure, released back in uh, 2011, of course. And so uh, fans who studied that game are now seven years older than what they were when it first came out which means that the audience has naturally grown up with Skarners as it's uh, going on, gone along through its uh, different stages you could say man I still want to know for Skarners game but regardless uh, one other thing I also wanted to add was uh, some opinions of the, of the video by our themed characters aka Prison Break and Zap what do you think Zap I wanted a real swimming pool. Well, there's that opinion. He quite clearly didn't like it because there wasn't enough swimming involved. Yeah, he definitely makes a great Olympic swimmer. Hashtag more self promotion much. And then there's also Prison Break. I think it would have been better if I could play badminton. Okay, first of all, you're plastic. And second of all, how are you supposed to handle a Balkan rack with this? Uh, I'm sure I'd find a way. After all, Ian Malcolm says it perfectly life finds a way. Ever thought you'd be a Jurassic Park fan? Hey, I got a deal with Chopper, and Chopper's favourite movie is Jurassic Park. He thinks he's represented in it, although that's entirely, entirely unrealistic, considering that he has a fucking mech suit, and the dinosaurs in that movie most certainly do not. Why are we arguing over what's more realistic, Jurassic Park or Skarners? <laughs> like, let's be honest here, neither of them are. Mm, good point. But regardless, uh, yes. That actually does have a clip now. I just wanted to add a few things to it as I was alluding to uh, beforehand. So, uh, peace for real this time.